not die. Same for Broods. They do find the shard catch here again. It's on two. The heal comes through, but still alive. Finally get a match to bring down the old oh, man. Super good snowball there. As they roll forward, Arteezy fairly low in his own right, but he gets off the two hero raids before going down. It is a two for one. The Shadow Fiend falls again. It really, really doesn't work out for them. If you can lose the game so fast. They're going to yeah. try to make a jump here on Samil, but he gets off that first chain very far back. Shards coming through. PP. PPD looking to help him out a bit. He's going to tank the poison touch. Stuns before the crush. The Sumail re-engage. Yes, he does. Just destroy Silent on the Slardar. Now hunting for a bit more. The Shocker comes out again. He's got the mana to dive. This The chain just barely missing the tree in front of him. Shards coming through, but he's going to turn attention back to Lil. And Sumail will do it again. 8 to 5 the score. He's really heating up, but he's not done just yet. Another dive forward. Does he have any more mana available? Sumail, what's he got? Not a whole lot. Thought I need support. They just forgot about it. They are looking for the brood. They know she's in the woods, and they're going to find Phobos. The heal comes out for Universe with the Frost Armor just fine so far. In fact, running forward, forcing three BP heroes out. Where's the backup? Rotations are coming in. Arteezy's here with an Invis rune. Looking to set something up. This could be real ugly. No, the heal does way too much for the Requiem Cups from behind. Raises Chunky down BP, finding the first kill as the Brood will drop. Perhaps they're going to get more here. The Dazzle pretty low. Even the Creeps getting on the action, swapping back into the Snowball forward. A little all over the place, but in the end. I talked about it before, Russians. Oh, never mind. I'll continue about it later. Fight on the mid lane as Arteezy does get jumped. The Chain Frost comes out to counter the Chain. They're trying to run down Silent here, perhaps. Actually, the Haste event on the way out. They will lose the Lich so far. The Shadow Fiend 2 coming back in just a moment as the Shock they engage and they will find themselves FNG. So two down now. The Requiem coming out, looking for a few more VP heroes. PPD still hasted. He can look to run back and get a pop that does. Universe unable to jump forward. Okay, I think that's... Oh! And while they were thinking, Arteezy does get caught out. There's a crush, but the Frost Armor keeps him very healthy. He may even look to turn this one around. Jumping forward, Universe with the call initiation onto Lil. Going to bring him down quickly. So they lose the Tusk. Can they get anything more? Universe slowly being worked down, but it's Sumail in the front lines. He gets tossed up in the air by the Yule Set for the Chain Frost. Not very effective, but still a call from Universe again. It's on to the ramping from the high ground. They're going to bring down G. That's a dunk. And now they're looking for more VP being herded back, forced away, and Sumail gets in deep, just starting to wear down Silent as he's unable to get off a good initiation. Universe once more with the jump, the third kill of the fight, make it four. Oh, EG has to play a little bit more passive, they have to respect BP a little bit more. They are going to try to jump here on Sumail in the mid lane, but the swap comes out from PPD, looking to prevent this. Snowball forward, Universe at the same time gets in, nice call there, the Jade Frost is coming, massive damage onto BP with the Requiem as well, Silent getting forced back, Sumail in through the front, he'll bring him down as well, two down, they're looking for a third, the Yules is ready, they're going to isolate and then quickly execute FNG. Nicely done by EG. Looked a little universe, the man in front. The smoke's gonna break into decent position. Phobos up on the high ground. They get up the weave on a three, but he still jumps forward. He still finds two with the call, but where's the backup for this? Sumail up in the air, not able to dish out the shock of damage during the time. Now jumping down to the low ground. Silent, fairly low, forced back at the same time. Sumail is two. He's gonna chain out. He dodges the stun from the Slarnar. Beautifully played. Can they finish off G on the retreat? Again, the shock from so low, not dead. The urn will keep him alive in the end. FNG getting poked a little bit, looking with the wave of terror. Fishing for that additional kill, they will again isolate the Dazzle. The crush on the rear side of the fight, but they just can't get the job done. Now Silent scurried away, only the Brood down until FNG eventually falls on the Dazzle. It looks like Lil could be next. Punch up, not sufficient. They drop three. Team there? Sumail has ages, so he can play it all, however he wants. Yeah. Well, he's gonna play onto the Viper here, has the Yules to set up, getting position. The Venge coming in really soon as well. Chaining back, PPD just wants that swamp, and he's gonna find it. BKB forced down, and G's gonna continue to run, but no teleport scroll, so they might be able to kill him off anyway. Sumail continuing to engage. Universe just looking for the call. Four step, grabs the Viper. They're gonna isolate him. G will be going down. Off with his head is the call, and no buyback on the Viper. Sumail's on some timber saw. Even more AOE. Look how happy Sumail is. And again, it's the Blink Yules to start it off. He doesn't have it defensively, but that's okay. As Universe will also join the fight, at least for now. Arteezy getting involved. He's going to look for the Requiem. Universe still very tanky, even through it all. And then the Chain Frost comes about. It's a beautiful one. Keeps on going here and there. All over VP. They're getting wiped out. They just don't have the firepower. They can't get a kill yet. G, his whole life spent auto attacking. Four down. He's soon to join them. It's going to be five. Do they even get a second kill? No chance. It's a triple for Slim Sumail.
They don't tilt. They just play Dota. Uh, they're playing Dota now, and VP aren't flanking how it turns out. Jump forward, gonna find one. Phobos now trying to walk in, and engage, get something done. The chain post bounces, everybody BKB'd up, but then the Requiem comes through, further mitigating the non existent damage that VP have. Arteezy going to work, the Timber Saw going to town, and they're gonna bring down one, two, three heroes, make it four. Sumail shows up at the perfect time to wipe them out. I like that play. <laughs> Well, Very much up there. Sumail helping out with the Roshan here. <laughs> Danny decides to jump in and end the misery for VP. Quickly taking care of Lil. Looking for more of the chain frost. It's going to be another beautiful bounce all over VP's faces. Even with BKB starting to really tick down. Phobos gets craved up. That ain't going to save you against Universe. And spin slowly but surely. No, actually will survive for now. Don't tell me he gets out of here. Phobos lips out. Barely escaping with his own life. The age is gonna pop now, but four have fallen. It's about to be five. The Viper's gonna go down a second time. It looks like it will be a full wipeout for VP in the pit, and perhaps their final fight of the game. A stun from PPD will finish him off. Timber wow. Star. Oh, he must be pretty mad right now. Especially after that part of that. Yeah. Awesome. They've got a hex available. The call coming through. The AoE damage is absolutely massive for BG as Arteezy goes to work. G trying to head on in the middle of this fight. Arteezy, now Phobos walking onto it, but they just can't seem to find a core that they can reliably bring down. Sumail does have to chain away. Universe dropping low. The first kill of the fight is going to be going the way of BP, but then quickly turns back. Phobos will fall. Arteezy could be next. Punched up. He's dead too. Is BP actually doing this? Are they hiding on Sumail? The third one down. All three cores punished. And the old man. What just happened, guys? We'll TP out. Well, what happened? Was what happened? He decided to just run, run it. It is a slow siege. Nice and careful. Got to force VP to come out and defend aggressively. They get the blink crush, but Universe is ready with the call to counter initiate, and they drag Silent in deep. He's going to have to be KB Phobos as well, working on Arteezy, but he gets swapped back just before he gets too low, continuing to fight onto the brood mother all the while, and now Phobos stunned his beast as his BKB ends, and there's the Requiem too. Arteezy standing and delivering, might be going down here the first time, but can they kill him off the second two male? In and out of the base. Still the Viper, so difficult to focus down. They need a little more firepower. He's been grave, suddenly chopped, and then the cheese at the last possible second. That will force out the buyback. Uh, actually, actually, is he actually going for the fifth roach? <laughs> no. Why not? Oh, he might die. Oh, the bash. Oh, my lord. What? My god. 10% right there. No, 20, 20% some shit. That was like 80% oh. right there, but Universe finds the two-hero call. BKBs, are they going to cool down here in time? Arteezy gets rolled on, punched up. They've only got the range back. They're close to those Megas, but they don't quite have them yet. Oh. And rejoining the fight is going to be Slim Sumail right back into it. Still, the melee rack stands. VP hang on desperately, but G now just about to die to the shock rooms. Can Sumail finish the job? The snowball? There's whirling dead everywhere. You look blade spinning here. And there, they get off the punch. The Viper dies back, and PPD grabs the double kill of all the heroes to do it. Universe back into the fight. He won Phobos as well. Chop that spider, squish him up. Five back now onto the tusk, but the mega creeps are coming any moment, it looks like. And meanwhile, the throne also being sieged out while the skirmish transpires. They just start pounding it. EG almost finally, they get the job done. My god, they had to work for that. BP just would not give up. Uh, we'll just throw the real fighters <laughs> till the end. That was like that guy that's been knocked to the mat like 30 times in a boxing match. He keeps on hobbling back up. You know, he tries to throw out just one jab. And I mean, like, Woodsfall was doing, like, pretty good, actually. Like, just 